Hi everyone and welcome to Race Cloud. I have a seal and your retire card and driving tips book aimed to help you become a champion. As mentioned, the exit speed and the speed on the straights are most important when the goal is the best lap time. So the first priority when choosing the right line for a corner is its type. The corner leading into a straight is first priority since it's responsible for the straightway speed. The goal here is higher exit speed so in order to achieve it the racing line should be as described earlier with a late apex. Corner coming in the end of the straight. Main concern here is to keep accelerating and maintain max speed as long as possible. So the ideal line is completely opposite to the previous one. Aiming at a higher entry speed, start turning in early, taking early apex and making the most of the turning after it. Corner connecting two other corners of the first two types. Your goal is to choose the ideal line resulting in a higher exit speed in the last corner and accordingly to adjust the lines for the previous corners depending on their type. Finally of course you should consider the specifics of every track, every corner and corner combinations. Find where your machine performs best and adjust your driving style and racing line accordingly. Since the race quad life telemetry solution is drawing the precise racing line in the live end analysis mode, you are able to analyze and find the line to the fastest lap time. When chasing the best lap time, it is crucial that you use the complete width of the track, every inch of it. Even 20 cm left unused can result in dramatically slower lap times. This includes considering which curb to drive over and which one not to, since they can be used as an additional width to drive through, thus increasing cornering speed and improving lap times. Keep in mind that some curbs, higher, more rough or slippery, can cause a loss of traction, speed or make the cart unstable and result in mistakes and slower lap times. Depending on your chassis and tire setup, the behavior of your machine may vary. It will show one of the following behaviors. Understeer is when the front end have less grip than the rear. This means that the cart is not following the desired curve determined by the steering wheel input, but the front end starts to slide out of the corner. Oversteer is when the rear end have less grip than the front. In this case, the rear end is the one that starts sliding out, defining a line with bigger radius than the one of the front wheel. Neutral steering is when you have equal grip on both axles and you can initiate both understeer or oversteer during driving according specific needs through the turn. After you have determined the crucial points for every corner, gather them to define the fastest racing line on the track and consider the track specific character, you now need to adjust your driving behavior and inputs so you can be able to extract the maximum of the conditions on the track and your machine capabilities. After climbing such a growing process, you will be able to find your limit, enhance it, feel the grip and read the feedback from the tires and thus improving your driving performance and chassis setup, helping you to achieve the main goal in motor racing, winning.